generally under the dash somewhere, I can feel it's right here, there's a port that I'm gonna go ahead and connect this up to, and then let me move the camera around and we'll see uh, what it is. So I'm basically just gonna plug this in and turn the key to on, and it should, uh, it should be uh, letting us know uh, what's going on. It should be able to read the codes, all right? So give me, give me a second, I'll hook it up. Okay, guys, so I've got it plugged in, essentially, and uh, all I did was just plug it into the port and uh, turn the key to on. Now, the minute I plugged it in, it came on. But uh, anyway, I turned the key to on because the other ones that I've used, uh, you have to have the key to on. So it looks like we've got a few different things. We've got diagnostics, DTC lookup, tool setup, and then, of course, you've got a help menu. Pretty good tactile, tactile buttons here. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll hit diagnose. Uh, it'll process. What it's going to do is it's going to read the CAN bus and uh, tell us if there's any problems. Now, I've just noticed that I replaced some sensors a while back and I thought the engine light was still on, but uh, it turns out it wasn't. So if you look in here, if you look at this, I'm gonna try to get the glare off, glare off of it, but it's got DTCs and ECU, which is the, uh, the codes. You can take and you can read, read codes. Okay, so it's gonna get um, some supporting data, DTC loading. So hopefully it will tell us, okay, the vehicle has no fault codes. So basically, um, if there's any codes stored in memory, and a lot of times what happens, what throws a code is, let's say you have a spark plug fouling, let's say. It'll actually um, put the engine light on, which doesn't mean that you know your car is falling apart. It just means that uh, you know, you've got the engine light, there's a problem, and it threw a code. So with one of these, you can read that code. It'll tell you what the code is, as well as it'll give you a description of what the code is. And so it'll tell you that it found, and it'll tell you exactly which cylinder is misfiring and everything. They're actually really cool. So I'm gonna back up here. You can erase codes. A lot of times, if let's say you get that code and it uh, you fix the spark plug, okay, and you, you no problems, you you fix the spark plug, um, and uh, you found out that it was a broken wire or something, and so you replaced it, and it should be good. You'll notice that the the still on the car will still show the check engine light. Well, this is where you go to erase codes, and you'll hit OK, and it'll say uh, clear reset. Uh, emission related uh, diagnostic information. Are you sure? You'll hit OK. If not, you'll hit backwards and it'll basically run you through all that. Now it also has other things that you can do. It's got data stream, it's got freeze frame, O2 sensors. We all know that uh, O2 sensors have problems. Um, we can do an O2 sensor test. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's do bank one sensor one. Um, I'd have to look up in the book what the bank one, sensor one, uh, and sensor two, and then bank two, sensor one, sensor two are um, where they're actually placed at for this specific vehicle. I'd have to look that up. But uh, basically, we can test them, you know, okay. And then it should rich to lean sensor V. Okay. Okie doke. Test ID 01, blah, 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 blah. And down here under status, it says pass. So it passed. So that means that the sensor is operational, it's working. So basically, if you have a problem where your car is having trouble uh, uh, like running right, it's not running real good, it's not really missing, but like, you know, if you stand behind it, your eyes are watering, you know what I'm talking about? You know, basically, there's so, it's running so rich or so, uh, you know, fuel heavy and not enough, there's not enough, the, the O2 sensors is basically how the engine knows uh, how much air to mix with the fuel when it puts it into the engine. And so if those sensors are bad, it could not be sensing enough oxygen in the exhaust when it comes out. And so it's thinking that it's needing to put more fuel in. So it'll run it really rich. It'll put lots and lots of fuel in and which is causing your, your efficiency to go to crap as well as it can cause wear and tear on your rings and things like that. And so this is a good way to check your O2 sensors if you suspect something like that's going on and it hasn't thrown a code yet because a lot of times the engine will throw a code if the sensor is bad. But um, if, if it doesn't and you're wondering about it, you can use this cool little tool. Here we go to check this one. See that one passed as well. So you can check your O2 sensors with it, which is actually quite nice. Uh, let's see what else do we have here? We've got onboard monitoring evaporation system mode eight. So you can change up how your evap system works. Uh, and then you check your vehicle information. It'll actually pull out 
the VIN number, the CID, CVN, it'll pull out all that information just by reading the CAN bus. It's actually quite slick. So having one of these tools is very, very nice. Um, like I said, you can erase codes, you can check out um, O2 sensor test, you just all kinds of stuff. Are you sure to exit the diagnostic function? Yeah, sure. So that's for diagnose. We've got the DTC lookup, which, oh, I can't remember what that is. Oh yeah, it's for the different, different codes that it pumps out. You can put in the code number that it pumps out and it'll look it up and tell you, I think, more information about it. So when you diagnose and you find the codes that it's throwing, um, then you can put it into that and it'll tell you uh, what that code means. And so that, a lot of times I just Google the code. That's mainly what I do. Um,